welcome to my youtube channel in my last video tutorial i talk about how to use a scenario manager inside of Excel. whereby you were able to generate this summary report using the, the scenario manager function and as well we're able to use this scenario manager to generate this pivot summary report right here so in today's video tutorial i want to introduce you to perhaps one of my favorite topics inside of this microsoft office application especially here inside of the we we are going to discuss micros now before we get in and start to demonstrate creating macros manipulating hard macros and such i want us to get a solid understanding of what a macros is all about and i'm going to do this by giving you an example okay a scenario here open in front of you i'm connecting on the micros tab okay in the micro tab i have got a simple little table here here is a scenario this is probably something that i'm sure that you do and if you don't do it currently i'm sure you will do it at some point within your career within a z this table here it is a raw data there is not much to it it is probably something that was imported from some other system or imported in from a database or a test file or maybe some web tools but it was just data that was dumped down into a z now it is inside of a z because i want to do things like sorting right like i'm um, filtering it and do calculation and turn it into a pivot table make it presentable whatever it is but I have dumped it into a z so i can start to work with the data now imagine that this is something that i do every week every week i get a new set of data that get dumped down into the z now in order for me to really work with it make it more presentable then i need to work to format it okay i want to go through and do things like put header okay here at the top i should have employee id right here mm, last name here first name department email address phone number extension location higher date and basic pay and so on i should put i should have to put a header at the top of my document document here and i want to reformat this date likewise okay i don't like the standard format here on the date and i also want to want this currency to, to change these are basic rate on the right side here i want to format things and change colors and do all sort of stuff to this raw data list to make it more presentable okay well we can do that i can insert a row and put a header at the top then highlight and reformat it but once again this is something that i do every week with a new set of data that comes in where this is an excellent candidate data for macro a macro will allow you to perform all those operations but as you are performing those operations hiding headers formatting and so on you record yourself doing this by recording yourself later on maybe like next week when you need to perform the same operation okay you hit just a single button and it does it all for you it essentially essentially replace the record recording right this is why i love micro so much because it is about creating automation or going to automate something that we all do just manually within excel like formatting and inputting data recording yourself ourselves or 
doing things so that we can automate it later on okay you hit just a button and your work is on so let's try this out we are going to record ourselves okay creating this micros that is going to clean up this little table okay headers at the top okay here the format the date here and had the currency okay here okay also maybe we will turn on the filter okay at the filter section or do a few other things in there as well but we are going to record ourselves doing this so that we never have to do it again manually let's try this out let's create our first little micros right here but before we go ahead to do this we must first activate a, a developer developer tab option right up here in which i am going to show you how to do that in my next video tutorial then move on to how to create a macros with a macro recorder inside of excel thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the excel function bye